Welcome, duelists, to the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon deck profile. This is a deck that I put together. I think it's pretty decent. I'm going to take it to card shop soon and we're going to see how it rolls. So let's go ahead and hop to it. Alright, so the first and primary piece of this deck is the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. This is kind of your. Uh, your finisher right here can't be destroyed by card effects 4000 attack and when you inflict piercing damage it's doubled so y'all can guess how that goes when you swing at the opponent with that so you gotta have three of these alright so next up is his partner in crime three copies of the blue eyes chaos dragon which is kind of like the max dragon pretty much except for a little weaker but what you do is you combo it with the chaos max dragon because when this card is ritual summoned with a blue eyes white dragon it changes all your opponent's monsters to defense position and their defense becomes zero so if you get both these out there same turn ready to rock and roll you just one turn killed your opponent so we run three of these Alright, so your next ritual monster is the Incantation Chalice Slime. Running two of these, I don't really think you need more than two. Um, this is a, uh, this is kind of your, this is part of your line that's going to kind of get your blue eyes out there really quick. Running several of the Incantation monsters in this deck. Um, you can discard it, and then, or you, yeah, you can discard one card, and if you do, you can special summon an incantation monster from your deck. And once you do that, they kind of give you your ritual card effects. So next, we're running, of course, three blue eyes white dragons. These are uh, pretty important to the uh, the deck. Can't work without them. going to run one blue eyes alternative white dragon just so you kind of have that extra blue eyes named card in the deck and it's a good easy special summon to the field too if you just kind of need one all right so to get your ritual monsters and your ritual spells out there we're going to be running three manju of the ten thousand hands I think it's critical to have this because you need to be able to get this deck up and running quickly. Otherwise they will shut you down. Alright, so now into the other monsters. You have the one incantation pencil plume. When he's uh you can reveal one monster card in your hand. You special summon both this from your hand and one incantation from the deck. And when an uh, incantation gets special summoned from the deck, their effect goes into play. And this one, if he is special summoned from the deck, you can target a ritual monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Just running one copy of that one. Next, we have Bookstone. Very similar, except for when he's special summoned from the deck, you can target one ritual spell in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So we've got our monster and our spell. Next, we're going to run two of the incantation talismandras. This one also works just like the previous ones. Except for this one is, when he's special summoned from the deck, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. And then finally, out of the incantation monsters, we are running the Kandal. Two of those as well. Same as before, except for this one allows you to pull a ritual spell from your deck when it's special summoned from the deck. So the way this whole incantation line works is it helps you get out your ritual spell, your ritual monster from the deck, or if what you need is in the graveyard, get it from the graveyard. 
So it's a pretty cool line. It works very, very well with any kind of like ritual based monster deck. So onto the spells. We're running one incantation inception. Ritual spell card summon any one ritual monster. Obviously you're gonna use this on your Chaos Dragon or Chaos Max and you use your incantation monsters with it to do so. Next, it's very important to run three of these. This is the Bingo Machine Go. This is your blue eyes search for your deck. It's, you gotta have it. All right, so next, we're running three copies of Trade-In. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Discard one level eight, draw two cards. Now, a very good alternative to this, if you happen to have it, is the Pot of Extravagance, but it's also, it's a pretty expensive card online, so it's not required. It is a little better, but Trade in still pretty good. This deck does not run an extra deck, so if you do have Pot of Extravagance, you just load up your extra deck with just random monsters and you just burn those things. It works very, very well. But Trade in will definitely get the job done too if you need draw power. Next, we have three. Melody of Awakening Dragons. This right here is you discard one card and you can add up to two dragon type monsters with 3,000 more attack and 2,500 less defense from your deck to your hand. This is your other blue eyes search. So we've got some really good search power so far in getting the cards we need. Next up is Chaos form. We're running three of these. This is the normal ritual spell that you use with Blue Eyes, Chaos, and Max. It's pretty good, um, I, but there is a better one, and we'll get to that in a minute. But we do have these because we're going to need to summon that thing. Next up is Preparation of Rites. This is also a must have. You can add one level 7 or lower ritual monster from your deck to your hand and you can add one ritual spell card from your graveyard to the hand. So you can use this to get your chalice slime and break into your combos and you'll get your ritual spell card. Next up is advanced ritual art. So this is what you want to go for to summon your Chaos Max and Chaos if you can. Chaos Form will do the job and same with Incantation Inception but this one is by far the easiest one to use lowest setup. So you can summon any ritual monster and you must send normal monsters whose total level equals that of the level of the ritual monster. So you play it you select a blue eyes white dragon and from the deck straight to the graveyard boom chaos max or chaos dragon very good you get to, I mean that's a quick speedy play definitely your I think your most powerful ritual spell in this deck and next up we got a couple actually three Swords of Concealing Light, um, this is what kind of makes this deck a 43 card deck, which I'm not really a fan of, I'm more of a 40 card person, but there's a couple, there's mainly just one deck out there that people are running that can kind of shut this thing down, so this is to kind of put them in the face down to keep you from getting shut down. So this is kind of in here more or less to protect you from that going down. As far as uh, a side deck, that comes down to 
more your preference, who you're playing with. A couple of suggestions, uh, if I was going to put any in one, would be Book of Eclipse. I'm going to put three copies in there. If you have it, I would also go with Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. One to three copies. So those two are probably the main ones I would put in there. And I've always been a fan of Solemn Judgment. So, I mean, I guess I'll probably have that in mind. But those are just a few that I would recommend. The rest of it's going to just be what you kind of, what you're up against. And you're just going to have to kind of make that decision. And it's kind of also based on your preference. And as you play the deck, you know, you might find different weaknesses here or there and be like, oh, well, this works really good, you know. So side deck's more, it's more to taste. But I think this is a really good, well-rounded deck. I can't wait to play it. Um, overall, it just seems really fun to use. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.